everyone. We are live at Beagley Center. Today, it's the start of the YSU men's basketball season. Even though the team has been at practice, today is media day. My name's Rob Schmidt. I'll be talking with the Penguins head basketball coach, Jerry Slocum, and a few of his players as we come to you live from the HLN here on YSUsports.com. I'm now joined first and foremost by the Penguins head basketball coach, Jerry Slocum, starting his ninth year here now at Youngstown State. Nine years with this basketball program. And all painful because, <laughs> because I've been with you, and here we are already. October, and i got to deal with you. Uh, and, and, it, and you've already started practice. Now, I think that's the biggest change for a lot of people is when you and I would talk at this time every year, you were getting ready to practice. You've already been out with your guys now for a week or so. Happiest I've ever been, and, and, and I mean that in, in terms of coaching my coaching life. Uh, you are able to take time. Uh, we still have the same amount of days, but they're not all rushed together. So, you know, we've gone a couple of days, Rob, take it a day off. Go a couple of days, take a day off. Have more time for film. Have more time for everything. Instead of going six days or five days in a way and try to figure out a day off and five more days, um, it, it's, been, uh, it's been absolutely delightful for a, a teacher that wants to teach it the right way to be able to have the time to do it. Let me ask you this, then, because you have now an opportunity to maybe space your practices out, will this, even though the season's been elongated because of the earlier practice sessions, does this keep them fresher going into the year? Yeah, I, I don't buy it. I mean, there's a lot of cynics out there that are saying, you know, it's, it, you know they're going to get tired more. Um, you know, it, listen, we were conditioning them, and we were running them, and we were lifting, and we were doing everything during that time anyhow. It wasn't like they were off for three weeks while this three-week earlier deal. We were doing individuals with them as a team individual. You were doing le lifting and all that other stuff. What this allows us to do is not to overload our guys. It, you know, before you'd start on the 15th, you'd go Friday. You'd go twice Saturday. You'd go twice Sunday. You'd go Monday, too. Then you get them on off. Then you're going five or six more days. It just allows us to take some breaks, which I think is very beneficial. Have you seen a, a more physical practice because these guys now can maybe pace themselves, know they can go hard for two days, get That's a, day a good off? basketball question coming out of you this early in that? the year. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I do. I, 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 I see better energy. I see better practices. Uh, we're not going and having a lot of what I would call mentally, physically tired practices. We're having overall – uh, a much, much better fall, and I think it's because of the, uh, the changes. Now, you'll have some new faces on this team. Obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the seniors first and foremost, led by Kendrick Perry, but will this help your freshmen and, and some of the kids that didn't play in particular, uh, some of the guys that got minimal playing time, will it help them catch on and, and maybe become a little no, bit intricate? No doubt. I mean, we haven't talked about the fact that the NCAA has also allowed us to be with our guys in the summertime. So all of that leads – I believe, to more productive years from your freshman class. Uh, you know, KP and, and uh, Josh, Cam, and Mike have been crucial with all those kind of things. Uh, having those guys been, you know, being with you for, you know, three of the four for four years, uh, knowing what you expect, knowing the league, knowing how tough it is to play, they've definitely added uh, leadership quality this year that's been very positive. And you talk about the leadership quality. If I'm not mistaken, in, in your nine years, this might be your largest senior class. Uh, you have four guys who are seniors. Normally last year it was two. Prior to that it was Ash and Ward. Uh, you, you, a lot of times it's been one, two guys in your senior class. you got four guys this yeah, year. Yeah, and, and, and these guys have all shown great leadership. Uh, I think they've all accepted, uh, you know, who they are, what their role is, what they're capable of doing. And then with that, uh, has brought a very positive, and, and I want to use that term because it is a very positive leadership with our younger guys because we're going to need our younger guys. Mm -hmm. You know, Ryan and, and Bobby, those kind of guys um, are uh, key people for us this year as sophomores. Our freshman class guys are going to be productive for us. Uh, you know, our seniors have had a, had a really great fall. And you talk about the young guys have to step in as we talk with Coach Slocum. You've got a lot of depth this year, depth at point guard, depth on the front line, maybe the most depth you've had on that front line since you've been here. Yeah, and again, to be able in, in our league, you know, you better have front line depth. You know, the, you know you, we've got three fives that we feel, feel very good about. We've got three fours that we feel very good about. This is a very physical league. Foul trouble is a major part of this league because of the fact of the physicality of it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about our depth. When you look at everything, first and foremost, we'll, we'll go through Kendrick Perry. Your thoughts now that he is a senior and you've seen him grow up from, from the time he stepped on this campus at Youngstown State until now where he becomes an NBA prospect going into his senior year. What a player. I mean, you know what? 
you know, he's, he's what's good about college sports. You look at college sports and you hear all the negatives and this guy and that guy being in trouble or, or you know, you know, football, all those kind of things. That he, he's what's good about sports. He's a three nine student. The guy, the, you know, the kid is, is a great human being. He's a, his work ethic is second to nobody that I've ever coached. And on top of that, he's really, really good. Mm -hmm. So he, he's what's good about sports. What has he had to improve upon, and what did you want him to work on coming into a senior you know, he, year? You know, believe it or not, you know, he, you know he's up about uh, 8 to 10 pounds. And, and you know, for you, that, that might be a weekend. Uh, <laughs> but for him, that, you know, that's a month-long process, and, or I should say months of yeah. processing. And he has put on about 8 pounds of muscle. He's much stronger. Uh, I think that's led to him to be a little bit tougher. Uh, and I think that that was the only chink in his armor that he needed to get stronger. Coach, I know you've already been asked a couple of things as far as the, the seniors who left this program from a year ago, Blake Allen, Damian Ergel. The guy you're excited about is in the middle that replaces Damian Ergel and Bobby Hain and what he can bring to your program, not just offensively, but the way he's worked to help improve your defense. Yeah, now there's a guy that's gone the other way. He's lost about 20 pounds, 18 pounds. Uh, the thing about Bobby is that, he, you know, he's totally different from Damian. He's not going to be a shot blocker. He's not going to be a guy that is going to change a game at the defensive end in terms of that. But that dude's going to change the game at the offensive mm -hmm. end. He's as gifted an offensive low post player, now get this, that I've ever coached because he's good around the basket. He can step out and take threes. He is a great passer, and uh, we've just got to get him to understand that there's two sides to the floor. One last question for you, and you, you addressed it earlier. You, two years ago, you have your f first winning season um, in, in quite some time. Then last year, answered that with another winning campaign and a trip to the CIT. You've already preached to these guys, don't rest on your laurels. I, I, you know, I, I think KP, I haven't said a word. You know, that, that's the great thing about having good senior leadership. You know, you, you know your job get, as a coach gets much easier. And, and, and I'll repeat, you know, what KP has said about six or seven times this fall. CIT was great. What a nice honor that was. But that's not what our goals are. Our, we don't sit around here saying, you know, in, in this group, and he's made it very clear, this group isn't sitting around saying, okay, let's go to the CIT. This group's focus is how, what do we have to do, Coach, to get to the Rising League Championship mm -hmm. game and get to the NCAA tournament. That's our goals. Well, let's hear. Thanks here, again. Here we go. <laughs> that's the Penguins head basketball coach, Jerry Slocum. We'll talk with Kendrick Perry when we get an opportunity here as coach steps aside, and we'll have more for you live from Bigley Center as we continue to preview the 13-14 YSU men's basketball campaign.